Let me show you how to check to see if someone's spying on your phone. Now, if you see strange things on your phone, maybe the orange dots or green dots at the very top, or you see messages or phone calls, or you suspect somebody might be tracking your location, there are a number of different ways that somebody could be spying on your phone. I'm gonna walk you through all of those, but most importantly, I'm gonna show you how to prevent them from spying on your phone. Now, the first thing that you want to check to see is one good indication is if there's an orange dot or a green dot at the very top of your phone. Now, if I open up the camera here, let me just open up the camera real quick. You'll be able to see it shows that green dot at the very top. So what that green dot essentially means is that the camera is in use and the orange dot means that the microphone is in use. If you see those orange or green dots, but you're not using your camera or microphone, that is a good indication that somebody might be spying. So let's prevent that by heading into the settings app of your phone, scrolling down towards the bottom here, tapping on privacy and security, and then we'll scroll down to microphone and camera and tap on those. Any apps that have access to your camera, make sure to turn those off unless you want those to specifically have access to that camera. It's important to re basically restrict this as much as possible. After you've done that, I would also highly recommend heading into the phone app and tapping on the keypad. From here, we're gonna dial the code star pound 21 pound and hit call. Now you'll be able to see it says setting integration succeeded, call forwarding disabled, data call forwarding disabled. Essentially what you're gonna look through here is to check to see if everything is disabled. You wanna make sure all of the call forwarding on your device is disabled so that your phone calls as they come into your phone are not then just being sent to another phone that will then pick up or listen to those phone calls. If you do find that any of these are turned on, you can make sure to turn them off by dialing pound 002 pound and hitting call. After you've done that, you'll be able to see setting deactivation succeeded, all calls, voice forwarding, data call forwarding, et cetera. So go through these steps, dialing these codes into your phone to one, check to see if there's call forwarding turned on and two, to make sure it is disabled. However, that's not the only place that we need to check. We also need to head back into the settings app of your phone. Let's go back to the very beginning of the settings app and make sure that we check the phone and messages apps. So scroll down, tap on apps, and then tap on phone here. And on here, we're gonna check two different things. First, we're gonna check calls on other devices. If there's a call on another device, this means it will ring both on your phone as well as the other iPad, Mac computer, whatever computer you have, any other phone, all of that stuff. We wanna make sure that this is turned off so that you don't have calls on other devices if you don't recognize it. But also go into call forwarding here and turn this off if you, this is turned on and it's forwarded to a number that you don't recognize make sure to turn that off. Next, let's go back out of here and go to messages. So scroll up and tap on messages. And then we'll scroll down and you can see as I scroll down, text message forwarding. If you see that your messages are being forwarded to again, another device that you don't recognize, this is an indication somebody might be spying. So make sure to turn it off. Now let's go back and check a couple other things that are big culprits. If we go back to the very beginning, let's tap on battery. And then from here, you'll be able to see all of the apps that are using your battery life. Scroll through here and make sure that all of these apps are ones that you've actually used. If they're draining your battery, but you haven't used those apps, that's a good indication that there might be a bug or glitch in the app or potentially the app is running in the background and potentially collecting your data or anything like that, that you don't necessarily want it to do. If you do find that it is running in the background, you can see on screen and background, you might wanna quit out of that app or completely delete it if you don't necessarily use it. Let's check also your location to make sure nobody is tracking your location. To do that, go back to the very beginning of your settings, scroll down, tap on privacy and security again, and then location services. From here, I have location services turned on, but you wanna make sure all of these apps with the little arrow next to it 
basically they have used your location recently. So you can see in my case, the weather, Zillow, et cetera. I would recommend going into any of these that have user location. If you don't want it to switch this to never or ask when I use the app. Now, I also would recommend going to your system services. Essentially, this is where Apple themselves are tracking your location for various system services or helpful things on your phone. Some of them are legitimately useful. Some of them are not necessarily useful. And I wouldn't recommend sharing your location for those services. So I would recommend just switching it on where I have it turned on and switching it off where I have it turned off. Now, an important one is this significant locations. I would recommend turning this off and then on here, scroll down and hitting clear history and clear history. Now, you don't necessarily need Apple to be routing or keeping a record of your significant locations on here. So I would recommend deleting that out the last thing we will do is go back to the very beginning of your settings, tap on your name at the very top, scroll down and check on these devices towards the bottom. If there are devices on there you don't recognize, make sure to tap on them and remove them from your Apple account. Again, if any of these devices are connected to your Apple account, they can get a bunch of different information about you and your account. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys.